And before I move on to my next story, I want you to listen to this statement. It is from Sinan Ogan, the third place finisher of the Turkey election. I declare that we will support the People's Alliance candidate Recep Tayyip Erdogan in the second round of the elections. I invite our voters who voted for us in the first round to support Mr. Erdogan in the second round. Now, this is not about Ogan, it's actually about Erdogan. And I want to begin with this question Has Erdogan already won? The day the runoff polls were announced, we told you, Turkey elections had become a 5% game. The power had landed in Sinanogan's hands. The ultra-nationalist leader of ATA Alliance became the unexpected kingmaker. And now he has made his choice. In the Erdogan versus Kedrulu race, Ogan has decided to back Erdogan. And much before this announcement, Ogan had dropped ample hints. First off, there was this statement. Listen in. I think because the opposition is not giving enough confidence to the voters, the opposition cannot reassure people that they can solve Turkey's problems. I'd say the opposition is the one that was most affected by the earthquakes. Ogan shared his doubts about the opposition. He expressed that Kemal Kudurulu had failed to win the confidence of the voters. While Turks were bitter at Erdogan, Ogan claimed that it was the opposition that was the most affected by the earthquakes. And secondly, Ogan aims to eliminate Kurdish parties from Turkey's political equation. He announced that if he were to form an alliance, he would give no concessions to the pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party. The same party had endorsed Kizurulu in the presidential election. The opposition had slim chances to win Ogan's support. Now, as it turns out, Erdogan has really stood the test of time. Despite all the public anger, soaring inflation in the country and allegations of corruption, Erdogan won 49.5% of the votes in the first round. All prediction polls were rendered useless. In fact, he came out to be on top in 10 of the 11 provinces hit by massive February earthquakes. His promise to rebuild the devastated cities actually reassured the voters, mostly in uh, the AKP strongholds. The earthquakes on the 6th of February killed more than 50,000 people in Turkey. Millions were left homeless. The destruction was most prominent across 11 provinces, from Adana near the Mediterranean coast to Diyarbakir in the mainly Kurdish southeast. Earlier, critics and survivors expressed anger over Erdogan government's slow response over its lax enforcement of the building rules. They said that these failures had cost thousands of lives. But soon after the earthquake, people of Turkey were thankful for the government aid. There was little evidence that the issue would change how people voted. Erdogan pledged he would rebuild quake hit Turkey and analysts say he delivered at breakneck speed. And now the results lay bare in front of you. Despite the huge death toll, injuries and mass migration afterwards, voter turnout was still very high in the region. Between 85% and 89% of the residents of the devastated areas showed up at the polling booths and a majority of them cast their votes in Erdogan's favour. His performance was already stronger than expected. And now, Sinan Ogan has endorsed him. Well, his 2.8 million voters, will they make the same choice? Has Erdogan won the elections already? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.